is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony and today i am sitting up quite high in the new 2020 toyota 4runner courtesy of hanover toyota in hanover pa and i am always excited to get in any kind of toyota because you know the reliability is going to be absolutely stellar go ahead and take a look at consumer reports magazine on this one it's above average or well above average depending on the year always so definitely stellar when it comes to reliability and it's kind of cool to be sitting up this high considering how many car reviews i've been doing lately so what do you say let's go ahead and just jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels Levels for the 2024 runner. First one being the SR5 starting at $37,895. SR5 Premium for $39,215. TRD Off-Road $39,740. TRD Off-Road Premium for $42,470. Venture Special Edition for $44,285. Limited for $44,885. The Nightshade version, which is the one we have today, this one is going to start at $46,000. 625 and lastly the TRD Pro for $49,765 but good news is, is it does get simpler from there because regardless of the trim level that you go with the power plant is going to be the same powering this beast is going to be a four liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 270 horsepower 5600 rpm 278 pound feet of torque available at 4400 rpm power is going to be sent to either the rear wheel or all wheels through Toyota's four-wheel drive system. And that power is sent to the ground through a five-speed automatic, giving you MPG numbers coming in at 17 in the city, 21 on the highway for the rear-wheel drive, 17 city, 20 highway for the four-wheel drive. But now having mentioned all of that, I think you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and do a quick little acceleration test here in our 2024 runner. And let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. <laughs> it's getting loud. <laughs> yeah, honestly, not that bad. Certainly no issues with merging onto the highway. It's not going to pin you in the back of your seat, of course, but it is a dependable and yet still quite capable engine for the 4Runner, so certainly no issues for me. But as always, to go along with that, braking is equally important. And so for the 4Runner, you will find power-assisted ventilated front disc brakes with actually a multi-terrain anti-lock brake system if you were to go with one of the TRD off-road trim levels. And as far as the braking feel goes, absolutely brilliant. And I don't often say that about braking feels in SUVs, but certainly no brake pedal delay. It brings this 4Runner to actually a very quick stop as we pull up to a red light here. So wonderful braking feel in this SUV, I will say that. Then touching on suspension and handling a little bit, up front you're gonna get a coil spring double wishbone front suspension. In the back, a coil spring four link with lateral rod rear suspension. You will also have front and rear stabilizer bars, of course. And to go along with that, the TRD Pro trim level is going to add Fox high performance shocks with rear remote reservoirs and TRD tuned front springs as well. And actually the limited trim is also going to add an X-ray sports suspension to go along with that. But anyways, this is the 4Runner. It is a more off-road capable SUV, quite honestly. So I do wanna to add to that if you want a little bit more of those off-road capabilities, go with either the TRD off-road or TRD Pro trim levels because they are going to add an electronically controlled locking rear differential with terrain select modes and crawl control. Crawl control is that mode that you want to use when you're going to Aztec Island in Maryland doing a little off-road on the beach with the wild horses. That is something you're definitely going to appreciate. It's definitely something you won't forget either. It's uh, quite a fun experience let me tell you. But in addition to that those two trims are also going to give you front skid plates additionally as well. All in all though for everyday use ride quality is brilliant once again. I would even say above average comparatively speaking to a lot of the other SUVs in its class. Ride quality is definitely on point. Cabin noise, kind of the same deal. Certainly not having any issues with too much exterior wind noise coming into the cabin here. So definitely impressed there as well. Steering feel, it actually kind of surprised me. It's a little bit weightier than some of the other SUVs in its class. But again, I guess that goes with this off-road nature possibly of the 4Runner. But it is a little bit weightier of a steering wheel, which in my opinion is a good thing. I like that. Touching on visibility a little bit, I could see perfect perfectly fine out the back. General rule is the boxier the SUV is, the better visibility you're going to have. 
So again, absolutely no issues there. And actually, if you wanted even better visibility, this is one of the best parts about the 4Runner. There is a button just behind the shifter there, and that is going to open up that rear window, just like a power side window that we have here. There is a power rear window that lets in air into the cargo area. I find that super cool. I guess it's an off-road thing with the 4Runner, but it is a kind of cool feature to have on this thing. So yeah, that's gonna give you better visibility because I said it is going to, so that's pretty cool that that's there. Also, windshield wiper de-icer is gonna come standard on all trim levels, which is definitely a blessing to have here in Pennsylvania. With all the snow and ice we quite often get, but that is about it for the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this new 2020 Toyota 4Runner. All right, so here it is, you guys, in our beautiful location on the lake. This is the 2020 Toyota 4Runner. And so let me start with the ground clearance. This is something that Toyota has done very well with the 4Runner. Nine inches of ground clearance is gonna come standard with the SR5. However, every other trim level is going to give you 9.6 inches of ground clearance. And so a lot of other off-road SUVs won't even make it to that nine inches of ground clearance mark. However, the 4Runner did, so that is wonderful. Projector beam headlights can be found with smoked housings for every single trim level. Automatic feature is gonna come with a limited trim level and up. You will also find integrated fog lights just below that for every single trim level. LED fog lights if you were to go with the TRD Pro. And that front bumper will actually differ slightly based on the trim level that you go with. So you will have more of an off-road look if you go with one of the SR5s or one of the TRD trim levels, of course. However, with some of the other ones like this nightshade edition that we have today, it is more of a luxury-esque front end, if you will. So I did want to mention that as well, but let's go ahead and make our way to the side on this one here. Taking a look at the side here, you will find roof rails for every single trim level. Roof basket, actually, that is pretty cool, is going to come with the Venture and TRD Pro, and that can be found up top there in the back if you were to go with one of those two trim levels. Taking a look at the side mirrors here, they are heated power adjustable side mirrors for every single trim level. So yes, every trim is gonna give you heated side mirrors, which is excellent here in Pennsylvania. Integrated turret signals can be had with the premium trim levels or the Venture trim level and up. Therefore, since we have the nightshade, that is what you're looking at right now, of course. Zooming out a little bit, rear privacy glass can be had for all trim levels. That is standard on every single trim level. But here's something I probably would add to the 4Runner running boards. They are optional on every single trim level. It is a bit of a step to get into this thing. This 4Runner is more of an off-road capable SUV, as I keep mentioning, but with jeans on, it is a little bit of a stretch or lack of stretch since I have jeans, I guess. But anyhow, just wanted to mention that. But taking a look down at the wheel setup, 17 inch alloy wheels are gonna come with all trim levels, but the limited and the nightshade. Therefore, you are now looking at 20 inch alloy wheels because we have the nightshade, but they will also come in the limited, of course. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the back on this one, rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, by the way, LED integrated brake light will come standard on all trim levels. Just tucked up underneath of that, if you guys can see that, there is a rear window wiper. And that is definitely a convenient thing that it's up there. Not only does it not hinder visibility, but it doesn't get in the way of this rear window going up and down either. So that's definitely a plus. LED taillights with smoked housings are gonna come standard for all trim levels. Also, there will be an integrated towing hitch receiver plus wiring harness with four and seven pin connectors are gonna come standard for every single trim level. That is usually an added option on a lot of other SUVs. So that's pretty cool that it's standard here. Towing capacity is 5,000 pounds, by the way, but either way, single exhaust outlet will come standard. And I love that it's finished with a black tip on this nightshade edition that is very fitting by the way full size spare underneath hopefully you guys can see that but yeah it's under there too but either way you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip All right, so now since we are around back to go ahead and open that rear lift gate, simply just lift up underneath. That is gonna be how you're gonna open this one up. There's no button on the key fob or anything like that, but 
Anyways, once opened up, first thing I wanted to mention is the 4Runner is available either as a two row or a three row SUV. The three row is gonna be optional, so it seats five to seven passengers in this thing but we don't have that third row today, but I'm still gonna give you the specs for either way that you go with. Cargo capacity is gonna come in at nine cubic feet behind that third row if you were to have that third row. If you do not have it behind that second row, it's gonna come in at 46.3 cubic feet either way. And with that second row folded down, 88.8 .8 cubic feet. 12 volt power outlet can be found in that cargo area, along with a 120 volt power outlet as well back there. Making your way up to the rear legroom, if you were to go with that third row, that is gonna come in at 29.3 inches. So I don't have the third row today, so I can't demonstrate it for you, unfortunately. However, making your way up to the second row, that is gonna come in at 32.9 inches. So for reference, I am even six feet tall. I think Toyota kind of undershot that number on their website there. It feels like there's a lot more space back there than 32.9 inches, but either way, good bit of space actually for those second row passengers. And I did want to also mention one of the new features for the 2024 runner, there are now two USB charging ports for those second row passengers. And by the way, that's standard on every single trim level. So it's a little added feature for the 2024 runner in case you were curious. Did want to also mention rear ventilation is going to come standard standard on every single trim level. It is not found on the roof. It is found rather just behind the front armrest. So where a lot of sedans put it basically. So that is gonna be there for you as well. Also rear center armrest with cup holders is going to come standard in that second row as well. But now let's make our way up to the front seats. Eight way power adjustable driver's seat with four way power lumbar will come standard. You will also get a power adjustable passenger seat if you were to go with the TRD Pro trim level. As far as the surfaces go for the seating, you will find a cloth finish for the SR5 trims and the TRD off-road trim levels. Softex upholstery is going to come with the premium trims, Venture, and TRD Pro trim levels. By the way, with that Softex finish, you will get heated front seats as well. And with the perforated leather finish coming standard with the limited and nightshade, that is going to add ventilated front seats as well. So that is, of course, what we have today. Quite nice, actually. <laughs> Taking a look up front, though, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It is leather wrapped for every single trim level. Very nice 10 and 2 grips, a little bit on the thicker side, but this is a more rugged off-road SUV, so it is as expected, and I absolutely love it actually, those grips that is. Then taking a look at the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Toyota logo on the one side, and when you flip it over, lock and unlock, it is a pretty basic key, so I guess that means less to go wrong with it, so that is Toyota reliability for you, of course. But to go ahead and start this one, all I am going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press the engine start button, which is going to come standard for the SR5 premium trim level and up yet another new feature for the 2020 toyota 4runner that's pretty cool too but once started up as far as the gauges go tachometer is on your left speedometer is on your right and there is a small digital display front and center i love the intro you guys probably saw that the intro within that digital gauge setup is pretty cool as well and by the way this is a redesigned gauge cluster for 2020 as well a lot of new changes for the 4runner it's kind of cool but Anywho, to control what is on that digital display, there are buttons on the right side of the steering wheel, giving you a ton of different things, like how many miles you have left until you hit empty, a digital speedometer if you wanted to display that, also steering angle, a compass, radio settings, safety features. There's a ton of different things you could scroll through up there actually. But then make your way to overall interior quality. Power moonroof is going to come with the limited trim level and up. It is actually optional on the other trim levels, but we do happen to have that today, of course, because we have the nightshade trim. So it's definitely letting in more light for this video. It's always nice. Dual zoom climate control is gonna come with the limited trim level and up as well. You'll find an overhead sunglass holder for every single trim level. Homelink garage door openers can be had for the premium trim levels and up. And by the way, those garage door openers are not found on the rear view mirror, but rather on the ceiling, just behind those interior lights there. So a little different setup there. So I wanted to mention that. And overall, it is quite a, I guess you could say it's a rugged finish to the 4Runner. It is pretty much as expected there. You do have a bunch of hookups though, that's pretty handy. You have a USB connection port up front in front of the shifter there, as well as a 12 volt power outlet. And by the way, in between that is where you're gonna find your heated and ventilated seat buttons, by the way. And again, to use them, it's kind of different than most other SUVs. You're actually gonna press them in, they're gonna pop out and then you could turn them to the left or the right whether you want a heated or cold seat so 
that is probably the first time I've ever seen it set up that way. It's not a bad thing, it's just a different thing. So wanted to mention it. Just below that, there's a little cubby area as well as one cup holder here to the left of your four wheel drive select button. Just behind that, I guess there is what could be a cell phone holder as well as one more cup holder there too. And of course I was mentioning to you guys, there is that power rear window button just behind the shifter there as well. But now let's open up the center console here and it is a very deep center console. So ton of face there. 12 volt power outlet once again can be found there. And I kind of found it interesting here. Get ready you guys. On the back part of that center console, there is a place for tissues. That is specifically what it says. You cannot put anything else in there but tissues so thought that was pretty cool and there is a pen or pencil holder just to the right of that but dare you put anything in there besides tissues toyota will find you anyways now let's make our way to the tech display on this one and so yet another change for the 2024 runner for the better the old 6.1 inch display screen is now gone for 2020 replaced with an 8 inch color touchscreen display for every single trim level it just keeps getting better i swear bluetooth and audio streaming standard for every trim level Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, once again, standard for every single trim level. Yet another new feature for the 2024 runner. Factory navigation system is gonna come with the premium trim levels and up. Also, of course, you can check out your radio settings up there. And by the way, when it comes to the sound systems, you will find an eight speaker sound system with the SR5, TRD off-road and Venture trim levels. However, if you were to go with the limited trim level and up, you will find a 15 speaker JBL sound system with a sub Woofer. Therefore, that is actually the one we have today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on Sirius XM radio here, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. In the city with my own thing. Whoa. And I think that I'm falling. The bass is amazing. You can tell there's a subwoofer. It feels like there's three. Bass is absolutely wonderful. Clarity is on point as well. Toyota, well done with that particular sound system at least. I can vouch for that one. That one's recommended. But the last thing I wanted to mention on that tech display to you guys is when you do put the 4Runner in reverse, you will find a rear view camera for every single trim level letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so let me first start by mentioning one of the new safety features for the 2024 runner being Toyota Safety Sense, coming standard on all trim levels, giving you things like pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with sway warning, automatic high beams, and dynamic radar cruise control. Again, standard for the first time ever on the 4Runner. That's pretty cool. Front side and side curtain airbags will also come standard, including driver and passenger knee airbags. It doesn't come standard on every vehicle out there. In the back, you're gonna find latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. In addition to that rear child door locks back there, there's a tire pressure monitoring system. And with the premium trim levels and up, you're gonna find an auto dimming rear view mirror as well. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.